Manaforged Arrows is a new skill added in 321 Crucible League which essentially allows you to trigger a linked attack when you use another attack. It's normally used to trigger supportive attack setups like Frenzy and Power Charge on Crit to automate charge generation, but I haven't really seen anyone talk about the fact that since it uses an attack, it can also trigger cast on crit, regardless of it already being a trigger effect. That means you can trigger a different gem setup automatically while using your main skill. This is pretty cool for crit bow builds in a couple ways. First, this means you can automate support and utility spells without much investment, you just need the sockets. You could do this before with Asinavs, but now you get to use a real helmet and potentially have multiple setups. And this is something any crit bow build can just throw in. Here are some examples of support spells you might want to automate. Oh, and you could probably also self-chill with this, but it's probably going to be kind of scuffed. Now the second, more interesting reason that I want to get into this, this opens up the possibility for bow multi-cock. Before you'd be able to pull off double cock with some creative setups like hitting yourself and proccing vengeance to cast on crit, but now you can just throw in a second cock setup in your body armor. Now you end up losing a support gem for mana forged arrows, but you gain flexibility and new ways to juice up the build. For instance, you're not just limited to two cocks, you can actually have as many as you can fit in. However, in a 4 link, you'd only have a 1 link spell, but maybe that's all you need, and if it isn't, you could always use support gems that are baked into the item. Okay, so there's actually more to it. Like, the cooldown is 0.5 seconds, which is still lower than the other double cock procers, so it's probably better with stuff like BFBB or VDDD. And you'd have to figure out the mana thing too. The proc threshold, well, it depends on what support gems you use. If it's something that doesn't affect the attack you're using to proc the cast on crit, then some minus mana on jewelry makes it pretty easy. Removing the cost with something like life tap would make it proc off of one mana. I don't know, someone else will figure it out. I don't have a build or anything, I just thought this mechanic was cool and wanted to share.